Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants, I'm back, guys, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, what's up, y'all, welcome back, guys, welcome back, and as you guys can see, man, in this video, man, you guys know this is, once again, this is me another special video, I don't do these kinds of videos often, man, but I want to shout out and, and do a response to my man, uh, Ticket TV, so uh, once again, a shout out to uh, my man over at Ticket TV, um, like I said, he, he shouted me out in one of his uh, uh, live streams. I believe it was a live stream that he just recently uh, did today. And I just happened to catch it right now. Uh, shout out to the subscriber that let me know that Ticket TV even mentioned me in this video. But I want to respond to what he was talking about or res you know, make a response kind of like, or, or like I'm, you know, I'm, or I'm with him on this. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to kind of like jump on his bandwagon, so to speak, uh, in this video, guys, and talk about what he was talking about in that video because I believe it's very important, man. And this is what I've always been talking to you guys about on this channel. So once again, shout out to Ticket TV, man. I'm going to do a response to what he was talking about in this video. And once again, I want to thank everybody out there, everyone across the world, everyone across the states. Once again, guys, this is very important. I tell you guys all the time, man, we must continue to stand up, set the record straight, stop the lies, and stop the narratives, y'all. It's very important that we do this, guys, for real, man. So shout out to all you guys out there, everybody in the membership, man. It's truly humbling all the support, guys, for real. And you guys know what to do, man. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So, yes, guys, like I said, man, shout out to Ticket TV. Uh, I want to kind of, like I said, jump on his bandwagon here. And, you know, pretty much, you know, just like I said, I want to reiterate and really, like I said, drive home, you know, the points that I believe that he was making that I believe is very important because I've been making these same points on my channel, guys, since day one. And that's why I've always told you guys on this channel, right? It's about setting the record straight. And I always tell you guys about what? Standing up. The real basketball fans are standing up now. And this is what Ticket TV was talking about in his video, man. So once again, he, he shouted me out in that video and he kind of like added me to the squad of people that are standing up, essentially. That's what he was talking about, guys. How I don't know if you guys know, but he reported that LeBron James and J.J. Reddick are supposed to be forming a podcast or, or creating a podcast or something like that. Uh, so he was, as like I said, you know, breaking news from my man Ticket TV as usual. But he was talking about this and how what, what this means as far as LeBron James coming to the streets, so to speak, is how he was putting it in his video. LeBron James coming down to the streets because that's literally what he's doing, man. Because when we talk about YouTube, guys, now I said I've only been on here for a couple, a couple of years, man. Like I said, Tiki TV is an OG in this space, you know, as it pertains to the basketball side of things on YouTube. This man's been around for years and years. So like I said, I call him the OG, man. I'm nowhere on the level of someone like him as far as, like I said, how long and the work that he's put in. But when he's talking and he's mentioning people in that video, other YouTubers, and he's talking about how, you know, we're the ones pushing back on the what? The narratives, the lies, right? We're standing up to this stuff. We're not going to allow these guys to rewrite their history. I'm always telling you guys, it's very important that we do not allow these losers, these clowns, to rewrite their history that we literally, I watch this stuff growing up and I will not allow someone like a J.J. Reddick. I will not allow someone like Kendrick Perkins or Nick Wright, Colin Cowherd, Shannon Sharp, any of these fools. I don't care who they are. Because the facts are the facts. And I've told you guys what. They do not respect us, the true fans. They don't respect us. And LeBron James and J.J. Reddick, they're trying to form a monopoly. And that's what I believe is going on right now. They're trying to monopolize our space, the people's voice. They're trying to silence us and squash us down. Because we don't have the status. We don't have the power of some of these people. So for LeBron James to be making a podcast or a show with J.J. Reddick. Number one, who the hell is J.J. Reddick? J.J. Reddick don't know a damn thing about basketball's history. What does he know? What does he know? He knows nothing. Nothing prior to 2005. He don't know a damn thing. Nothing. I've listened to this man speak about previous eras. Nothing. Nothing. Fool. This is why someone like Bob Cousy had to come out and check this fool. Think about that. Bob Cousy? How often does Bob Cousy come out? I told you, I did not even know the man was still alive. Like I said, much respect to Bob Cousy, man. And all of a sudden, he has to come out and check a J.J. Reddick for saying some nonsense. These are the kinds of people that we're standing up to. So for LeBron James to come down to the streets, like my man Ticket said, once again, this is big, guys. This is big. What he's essentially saying is that we all have to be standing up and we must continue to do this, right? Because all of a sudden, our voice is making a difference now. And I've told you guys this on my channel. We have made a difference. We are making a difference. 
because we have the truth on our side. We have the facts on our side. Remember, we have the integrity. All you, as long as you keep your integrity, keep your honor and stand on those principles, stand on them, then there's nothing anyone can say about you. But unfortunately, for a lot of these guys, most of these La Media people, they lost their integrity a long time ago because that's the only way to support LeBron James the way that they have, through the lies and the narratives. They've never held this man accountable. They've taken the money. So once you sell out for the money, you automatically lose your integrity. You lose the right to push back on the facts. They don't have a leg to stand on. I've told you guys this. So he mentions me in that video. He mentions guys like Too Raw for Sports. I told you, Too Raw sport for Sports was one of the first guys that I listened to. It was Too Raw for Sports. I saw Ticket TV, and it was a guy, Chronicles of Judah. Those were the three guys that I first saw when I first came on, basically, that I, I kind of gravitated to. And then I sort of seen the Dreamers Pro Show, and I liked what they were doing. But he mentioned these, these guys. He mentioned Scap Attack. He mentioned Uncut Hoops. He mentioned uh, 78 Sports, I believe he said. He mentioned my man Brandon Love Sports TV. He mentioned a lot of his crew, and he talked about how he got a whole team. And like I said, I was honored that he mentioned me in that group with these guys who are standing up, who are pushing back. Guys like my man Uncommon Sense. My man Michael Jordan fans are the best. Like, these are the guys standing up. We must continue to do these things. Shout out to Retro Heat Check. My man Jordan versus LeBron. I'm telling you, it's very important that we stand up. We have to do this. And that was he, what he was talking about in the video. So I'm right behind you, Ticket. I got your back. I'm rolling like this. This is what it's about in this channel. I've told you. It's not about you guys being believing that Michael Jordan's the grace of all time or me convincing you of this. I'm here for the facts. To st stand up, right? I've told you guys what, represent for Michael Jordan in the 80s and the 90s and set the record straight on the guys that I grew up watching. But I've told you many times, just because I believe Michael Jordan's the greatest of all time does not mean that I do not believe that there's other people that you can say are the greatest of all time. If you believe Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is the greatest of all time, I don't have a problem with that. I have no problem with that. If you believe Bill Russell's the greatest of all time, I have no problem with that. We may not agree, I believe it's Michael Jordan and everybody else. But I respect those players enough, and they're worthy of that status. If you told me Kobe was your, you thought was the greatest of all time, once again, I don't agree with you. Not going to go crazy about it. I respect the man. There, is, there are many players that I respect, and that's what's about in this channel. I've always told you guys, it's the respect factor that you must have when we're talking about the top 10, 15, 20 greatest players in NBA's history. You have to be respected. You have to have carried yourself with the honor, the class, the integrity, like a grown man, so that other grown men can look at you and say, you know what? I respect that man right there. I respect his career. He's one of the greats, man. The great of the greats. He's worthy of that. And I've told you what they're putting out in the media with LeBron James coming down here now, thinking he's going to start a podcast. They're trying to silence the facts. He's trying to do what? Control the narratives in our space. Like I said, I've only been here a couple of years. But damn it, I'm speaking up for all the, like I said, all the independent YouTubers out there. The guys, like I said, we're the grunts. We're the ones putting the work in here in the streets. Because we're the ones that's, I've told you guys, this is a revolution, man. Ticket got me hyped up listening to that video. Like I said, I wasn't even going to do a video like this. And when I saw it, I was like, yo, I got to do a response to this, man. Because this is, this is right. This, this is crazy right now. If LeBron James thinks he's going to come down here, monopolize YouTube, monopolize the podcast scene, right? Like I said, try to take our shine. Because what do these guys say about us? The Gilbert Arenas, the JJ Reddicks, all these other ex-NBA players, right? Most of them. What do they say about us? Even a Stephen A. Smith and some of these other guys who look down on us, the common folks, they believe because we did not play in the league that we don't have a voice. We're the fans. We are the voice. We are the voice of the people, guys. We're the people, damn it. They don't got more voice, a lot of voice than us. Hell no. We must continue to stand up and let them know that the facts must be the facts. No more lies and narratives. 
none of this stuff. You must be held accountable. You must be held to the standard of the other greats before you. How they carried themselves. You got to answer questions. These guys don't want it, man. They don't. None of these fools. I call it anybody. I don't give a damn who you are, how big your channel is. If you play in the NBA, if you sold your integrity, you don't got a leg to stand on. We going to run the tape back on all of y'all. You guys flip-flop all over the place. Flip-flopping all over. They say this about this person, but don't keep the same energy for that guy. They talk nonsense about these errors. Straight lies. Fools like Nick Wright. Shannon Sharp, Colin Cowherd, Kendrick Perkins, who play in the NBA. It's a joke. Kendrick Perkins, the same fool who came on TV and said the 2021 22 Lakers were going to win 70 games because they had Carmelo Anthony and Russell Westbrook, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, Dwight Howard. He said they were going to win 70 games, guys. That was his expert analysis. You guys remember how many games they ended up winning? 33. 33, guys. He called 70. This is the analysis from an ex-NBA player, Kendrick Perkins. Have you guys heard the Gilbert Arenas analysis? Have you ever heard his analysis on 90s and 80s era NBA? The man is a fool. He did not watch this basketball growing. He didn't watch it. I don't give a damn how old he is. I'm 43. I watched it. I collected the basketball cards, yo. You guys know about collecting basketball cards? I collected football cards, baseball cards. I collected these things. And you know what I remember, guys, about the cards? The stats were on the back of the card. The back. They weren't on the front. You know why? Because that wasn't the most important part. The player was the most important part. Right? And what were the players doing on these cards? What were they doing? They were mimicking in motion or some action that they're known for in the game more often than not. Stats on the back. Now, all of a sudden, they would have you believe that stats are on the front of the card. That's the most important part. Nope. Some cards didn't even have stats. They had a description of the player and his game. These guys don't know about that Gilbert Arenas, J.J. Redick. Nick Wright, was he collecting basketball cards? Was he playing the game? Right? These guys ended up making it to the pros, but they don't know the game. They don't know the history of the game. They don't re respect the history of the game. And once again, they've lost their integrity because they're not holding these guys to the standard of true competitors. Because if you play basketball, which obviously they have, then why would you not hold these guys accountable and call them out for not being up to the standards? Because you guys are a bunch of clowns and you've sold yourself. All for views, all for money for these guys. It's about the money. It's about the fame. I've told you guys on this channel, we're standing up for the lies, the narratives, and setting the record straight. Give a damn about no money. I don't give a damn about no fame. Don't care about it. I'll never be rich and I'll never be famous. But you know what I always have, guys? I'll have my damn integrity. I'll have my honor. Because I stand on those things. I stand on those principles. And I carry myself like that and I hold myself accountable. And I've been calling these dudes out. So shout out to my man Ticket TV. Shout out to everybody that's been doing their thing. Everyone has been pushing back on the narratives, on the lies. It's not just about LeBron James. It's about the whole damn era. Look at the All-Star game. It was a joke, a mockery. Look at the NBA as a whole. It's a joke. Got guys like James Harden out there and Ben Simmons. Bunch of clowns. Bunch of fools. You guys know the deal on this channel, man. You know the deal on this channel. And you know the deal on a lot of these other guys' channels. It's important that we're standing up for LeBron James, J.J. Reddick to make their podcast, whatever it is or whatever it's going to be. I'm real interested to see what it is going to be. Once again, are they trying to, like I said, control the narrative? Are they going to come out here and battle us? The revolution is here. It's here, y'all. I told you, man, before. This is what we're standing up to. The war is on. And we're winning. They know we're winning because once again, we have the facts, guys. They can't dispute the facts. When they want to say we done with the 90s, all this nonsense that they've talked about. The entire career of a lot of these guys have been right inflated through the media. They've been made and built by the media. These fake fans that are out right now, 
these fake YouTubers, a lot of these fake YouTubers, you see a lot of these clowns on YouTube. There's a lot of these fools out here. They think they know basketball. They don't know a damn thing. I hear them say the same things over and over again. The same talking points I hear these fools on the media talk about. They ramble up a lot of numbers. That's not basketball. When I was going up watching the game, and we talked about players, we compare players, there was no damn numbers. I've just told you guys. Remember, the stats on the back of the card. These fools don't know about the 90s and 80s. I told you, if you wasn't there to live through it and watch it, don't be talking negative about it because you don't have a leg to stand on. You know, like I said, I've told you guys in the past, man, there's a difference between growing up and watching these things as opposed to watching it later on. And one of the reasons is because of the feeling and also because you do not know these players. If I let you just watch a game from whatever, I could just pick a random team, right? And we put the game on from 1992, let's say. And we play the game and you never grew up watching this stuff, right? You were born in 2000, right? You don't know about the 90s or the 80s era. I put the tape in, it's playing. You're watching the game. If you're watching that game and then after I ask you some questions or you ask me some questions, what may you might say to me? You might ask me something like, well, why was this guy doing this? Or why wasn't this guy doing that? Right? You might be critical of these guys. Oh, this guy couldn't dribble. Oh, this guy never shot the ball. This guy did this. This guy was doing that. What you won't understand, though, because you did not grow up at that time, right, is you don't know these guys' reputations. You don't know what they brought to the table, what their roles were, what their job to do, right? I've talked about this before, the specialists of the 80s and the 90s, some of these other eras, guys who had roles, guys excelled in those roles. They accepted those roles, right? They respected those roles. Now, no one wants to be a quote unquote role player. So if you did not grow up at that time watching the game, you would not know these guys like that. So it doesn't matter. You're watching the game. Yes, you can get a sense of the game, right? You can get some perspective there, but you don't understand or get the full picture because you do not know these guys. You don't know them, right? When you're watching all of these eras, and I told you, I remember watching basketball from the late 80s when I was eight, nine, 10 years old. I remember this stuff. And you're talking about through the 90s and the 2000s and the 2010s to now. I've watched it. So I know these guys' roles. I know what they're supposed to do, what they're not supposed to do, what this guy's supposed to do for his team. I understand these things. So I have a better aspect or a better grasp, right, on reality. What you guys do, a lot of these fools do, they try to bend the reality and create the false narratives. It's not the same thing. You guys don't understand it. You don't get it. This is why they'll say we done with the 90s. They'll try to pull some low lights up. I told you, they want to go low light for low light. This era doesn't stand a chance. They're a complete embarrassment. But the media, the la media, they want you to believe that they have the facts. They're the ones telling you the truth. Nick Wright wants you to believe he's telling you the truth. J.J. Reddick, Gilbert Arenas is making all kinds of crazy accusations against people. He's slandering people's names with no evidence, with no suspicions of these things, nothing. This is why I told you they have no integrity. They have a leg to stand on. So once again, I know I rambled on, guys. Shout out to Ticket TV. All the people that I mentioned, man, are too raw for sports, right? Dreamers Pro, uh, Uncut Hoops, Michael Jordan fans of the best, Scap Attack, Uncommon Sense, Angry Old Hoops, uh, Jordan vs. LeBron, Retro Heat Check, Brandon Love Sports TV. I, I mean, if I forgot you guys, forgive me, man. J just shout out to everybody out there, man. Everyone who's standing up, we must continue to do this. I told you we must continue to stand up, y'all. Set the record straight. They want to make a, a war to this? Then let's do it. I'm down, man. These guys can't do it. These guys are whack. I told you, man, they're a bunch of soft, feminine dudes, man. All these guys carrying purses around. They're not real men, which is why they don't hold these guys accountable. You guys know the deal, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one.